The Souls-like genre is known for its complexity, depth, and high challenge. One of the most praised aspects of Souls-like games is their difficulty. These games are designed to be hard, with challenging enemies and bosses that require strategy and skill to defeat. However, this very difficulty can be a hurdle for many players. Souls-like games are often relentless, with little or no guidance for the player. This can be frustrating for some players who are used to games that guide them through the experience. So in today's video, I bring you the top 10 Souls-like games for beginners. So subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss anything. Blasphemous is a game that combines elements of Metroidvania with the difficulty and combat style of the Dark Souls series. The game is known for its challenging combat, which requires well-timed dodges and defenses, similar to Souls-like games. However, Blasphemous is considered more accessible for beginners in the genre, thanks to its fair combat and the possibility to roll to escape from almost all attacks, allowing players to defeat most enemies without feeling overwhelmed. For those starting in the Souls-like genre, Blasphemous can be an excellent gateway, offering a challenging but not impossible experience, and an opportunity to familiarize themselves with the combat and exploration mechanics that define these games. That divine will, equally pious and cruel, which we could not and will never be able to unravel, was called... Code Vein is often described as a Souls-like game geared towards beginners due to its satisfying combat that is not overly oppressive. Released on September 27, 2019, by Bandai Namco Studios, the game features a unique world and an anime-inspired aesthetic, which sets it apart from other games in the genre. The combat system of Code Vein is accessible, with a variety of weapons to master and a deep character-building system through the Blood Code system. Furthermore, the game is praised for its more friendly approach to players who are starting to explore the Souls-like genre, offering familiar mechanics and innovations that ensure a challenging but fair experience. Steel Rising is a game that combines elements of action RPG with a setting inspired by the French Revolution. The game stands out for offering an assist mode that allows players to adjust the game's difficulty. This makes the game more accessible for beginners or those who are not familiar with the challenging style of Souls-like games. The assist mode allows reducing received damage, turning off the overheating mechanic, and even preventing the loss of anima essences when dying, which can help players get used to the gameplay style without feeling frustrated. If you are looking for a game with the depth of a Souls-like, but with a smoother learning curve, Steel Rising might be an excellent choice. Darksiders 3 is an action and RPG game released in 2018, developed by Gunfire Games and published by THQ Nordic. Darksiders 3 features different gameplay from the previous games in the series. Instead of following the open world style, the game adopts a more linear approach, with an emphasis on solving puzzles and combat. The game follows the story of Fury, one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, as she fights against the forces of evil to restore balance on Earth. The game is considered a Souls-like for beginners because it offers a smoother learning curve compared to other games in the genre. The game allows players to choose different difficulty levels, so they can adjust the experience according to their abilities. Fury, we're close to one of the seven. I just know it. I hope it's not them. Mortal Shell is a game that captures the essence of Souls-like games, offering a challenging and rewarding experience. 
It is known for being a more condensed version of the genre, ideal for those who are starting. The game features gameplay that requires strategy and careful management of resources, such as stamina and health. The shell's system allows players to inhabit the bodies of fallen warriors, each with unique abilities and gameplay styles. The game starts being quite challenging, but as players adapt and improve their shells, it becomes more accessible. This provides a learning curve that is suitable for newcomers to the genre. The Surge 2 is an action RPG that falls under the Souls-like subgenre, inspired by the Dark Souls series. Set in a futuristic city named Jericho City, the game is known for its challenging combat based on strategy, resource management, and efficient use of stamina. A distinctive feature of the game is the ability to target and dismember specific body parts of enemies to obtain parts and upgrades. For beginners, The Surge 2 can be a good introduction to the Souls-like genre due to its rewarding combat system and smart world design, offering a solid experience without being excessively difficult. If you are starting in the Souls-like genre, The Surge 2 can be a more accessible option to familiarize yourself with the typical elements of these games, such as the importance of observation and reaction time, before venturing into more challenging titles. Remnant 2 is often described as an accessible Souls-like game for beginners. It maintains many of the challenging elements typical of the genre, such as enemies that attack hard but have telegraphed attacks, a checkpoint system similar to Dark Souls bonfires, and a narrative that unfolds through item descriptions and cryptic dialogues. However, the game sets itself apart by incorporating aspects of shooter games and looter shooters, which may make it more appealing to players who are not fans of the traditional Souls-like subgenre. Furthermore, Remnant 2 offers a gameplay experience that rewards progression and character mastery, allowing players to feel powerful on their journey, until the game presents new challenges. These elements make Remnant 2 a solid option for novice players in the Souls-like genre who desire a challenging but not overly punitive experience. Walong, Fallen Dynasty is an action RPG developed by Team Ninja and published by Koei Tecmo. The game is set in ancient China during the Han Dynasty era and combines elements of frantic action with challenging gameplay similar to the Souls series. Walong, Fallen Dynasty is considered a Souls-like for beginners for several reasons. Firstly, the game features an accessible combat system, with moves that are easy to learn and perform. Additionally, the game offers a variety of characters and fighting styles for players to experiment with, which makes it easier to find a style that suits your way of playing. Although Along, Fallen Dynasty is an accessible Souls-like, it still features challenging gameplay and requires players to be attentive and precise in their combat. Death's Door is an action-adventure game that stands out for its accessible approach to the Souls-like genre. In the game, you control a young crow whose task is to reap souls. The title combines the exploration similar to classic Zelda games with gameplay mechanics inspired by Dark Souls, such as checkpoints and points to restore health. The game is often recommended for beginners in the Souls-like genre due to its more forgiving and less punishing gameplay compared to other more challenging titles. Additionally, Death's Door features a charming aesthetic and an engaging narrative that make it an excellent entry point for players who want to experience the characteristics of this style of game without the same level of frustration that harder games can provide. Ashen is an action RPG game that falls into the Souls-like genre. It was developed by A44 and released in 2018. The game takes place in an open and dark world, where players take on the role of a wanderer in search of a place to call home. An important difference between Ashen and other Souls-like games is that it is designed to be more accessible for beginners. 
The game features challenging combat mechanics, but not as relentless as other similar titles. Additionally, Ashen also features a passive cooperative mode, where players can encounter other players in their world and choose to cooperate or face them. Overall, Ashen is a challenging game with an immersive atmosphere and a well-written story. It is a great option for fans of Souls-like games who are looking for a more accessible yet still challenging experience. Now I want to know your list, what are your top 10 favorite Souls-like games? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel and give it a like. I'll be signing off here, take care and see you next time.